So today I will be presenting you guys with the spoils of Jake's little adventure to a place called uh, Ingvar Kamprad Elmtaird Argnard, or as it's better known, Ikea, where he had one objective, to build the ultimate Ikea gaming setup. And some of this stuff, I have legitimately no idea how he intends to integrate it. And this video is brought to you by Endgame Gear. The Endgame Gear XM1 is an ultra lightweight mouse at 70 grams that uses the PMW3389 optical sensor. If you're an ambitious gamer, you're gonna wanna check this one out at the link in the video description. Now, to be clear, we're not settling for some pinner, like, you know, grab a basic table and some of the modular legs and then a chair and ha <laughs> we build a gaming setup. We are expecting to put something resembling the ultimate setup. So we've got everything from triple 4K 144Hz monitors to the sick audio engine A5 Plus and S8 subwoofer sound system. We've got, uh, oh wow, we've got some sick stuff from Elgato. It's apparently gonna be streaming capable. Oh! My eyes. Yeah, Jake, we don't have a camera. I think our streaming street cred is uh, Can we just get rid of this is thing? evaporating as we speak. We're going to be using ah the all ROG gaming PC, which is as fast as it gets for gaming today. So I guess we start with the desk. You know, you got to give these guys credit. You think there's no way that they can require more assembly, and then they come up with another way. So this is a 3M backed. Um, what do you even is use that? Real oh, wood? I, think I think it's, it's you, for the ends. No, but it's already done. Wait, it's in case you need to. You cut, cut it. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, that's actually pretty cool. Yeah. So we were originally going to use the IKEA Gurton, which is like the the R slash Battle Stations Wonder Boy of a table. Everybody uses that thing, and it's pretty dope. Except for us with a triple monitor setup, it's a bit small, and it requires some finishing. So you can use oil, but this one pre-finished, and it's actually really cool. Um, instead of using a solid piece of wood, which could be hundreds of dollars, they actually use about a quarter inch thick veneer on here. So you can sand this, you can cut it and refinish it, like whatever you want to do. And it is real wood, just a little bit better for the environment and a little bit better for your wallet. <sighs> Pretty dope, hey? Sweet. It looks really good. <sighs> yeah. Um, we should probably get some legs, hey? Yeah, why did we do this this way? <laughs> Okay, so for legs, we ended up going with the Lurberg Trestle for 15 bucks. Now, I actually just picked these because they look cool. Um, that was kind of my criteria. But a lot of people actually use something called the IKEA Alex, which has drawers in it. Um, but we just wanted it to look cool, so no drawers for us. One thing we did need, because we don't have like a big drawer unit under it, is a fifth leg here. So this is the Olav leg, and this is gonna support it in the middle, because we're actually gonna have a freaking of weight on this thing. Not like the middle middle, because that'll get in the way of your legs, but like the back middle. Uh, what? So these don't have a way to screw them in. Yeah, they, wait. <laughs> oh, this is just a pad. Oh, it just sits heck? on it. No, like a that's, sawhorse that's kind of not good thing. enough. I think that's fine. This thing is so heavy by the time we put a computer oh. on it. Really? You picked it. I did. I got this. I can move the stuff out of the way. One second. Oh my God. Are you kidding me right now? I'm clearing space. Holy crap. Oh my God, stop. It's fine. Ah. Oh, yeah, the pot's just rolling on the See, ground. See, that is a pro-life tip right there. Jesus Christ. If you want help with something really, really quickly, don't ask for help. Just, do just start wrong. doing it in the <laughs> stupidest way possible and people will leap to their feet to come to your aid. <laughs> So this is called the Alefjall, I believe. Um, not too up on my Swedish, but... Uh... It's uh, in gloss black, which I will assume means matte black. It means black leather. Anyway, so I basically went to Ikea and sat on all of the chairs. There's probably 15. I gave them about 10 minutes each. Probably half of them, your butt starts hurting immediately. I paid you to work for three hours sitting in chairs at Ikea? Maybe.
This one has the best butt cushion. I think you're holding it right now. Look oh, yeah. at that cushion. Oh, that's not bad. That is some. I got to do some pushing on this cushion. Substantial cushion. That's actually, and it's like a really firm cushion. So it's not the yeah. kind that you go right through and then you feel the, you know, the piece of plywood on the other side immediately. It's like, it's got some substance to it. Actually, that's not bad. Lumbar support's pretty good. It's not comfortable. Like it's not like uh like a, oh yeah, this chair. Is any chair like that though? Well, not ones that are actually like decent for your posture, no. Like this is this has got support though. Even the armrests are actually like actually padded. Like if you rest your elbow on it, it's not gonna go right through it. Uh, that is not a lot of space left over, Jakku. <laughs> are we gonna fit a rig there? I think we should just do two. I kinda hate it. I kind of hate it too. Yeah, let's just do two. Should we throw the tower on here and see how it looks? Aww. Now the thing we do have to consider though is we still have speakers, a keyboard, mouse, mouse pad. Moj Likit headphone stand. I would probably put some like just silicone glue on the bottom and let it cure because right now it's like hockey puck, but I don't know how into the headphone stand I am, Jake. Well, it's the all Ikea setup, so you don't have a choice. We had really wanted to get A5 Pluses in here, but um, there appears to be a bit of a logistical problem. Welcome to LightSync Gaming Speakers. Wow. For gamers. Oh, integrated speaker wire. But they use Logitech. It's like a VGA port. For the RGB, oh, I guess. for all the RGB control. This stuff. is a thick cable, too. That's how they put branding on the book. I hope that's removable. Seriously? It's, it's like, cool. it's removable, but it's like, it's here, look. also could just be left on there. It's okay, not one you... of those crappy stickers. Like, it definitely comes off properly. Still, why? <laughs> for the store shelf. It's retail, right? Don't cover up my shirt. This is a great shirt, and you can buy one at lttstore.com. Oh my God, we forgot the cable mounting trays on the bottom of the desk. So these will run you $14.99 each. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get under the desk here. These are gonna hold all of our cables that we need to manage so that they don't just droop down the back of the desk like they're drooping down right now. It's pretty ugly. Is that a wireless keyboard? No. Oh yeah, oh Mr. Minimalist everything, blah, blah, blah. Linus, don't you know the first thing about minimalism? I mean, it's harder to reach the, the plugs at the front. <laughs> like the... <laughs> You're not using those plugs. This is a minimal setup. Got a wired <laughs> keyboard. Wow, good job, Jake. Actually, they just came out with wireless keyboards. We don't have them yet, though. They have well, they have a wireless one already. It's just yeah, an RGB. it's crappy. Yet. It's crappy. It's good. <sighs> Wait, should we put the RGB strips on the back first? Wow, you can get RGB strips at Ikea now? Yeah. Oh, this sucks. All right, so my handiwork here is finished. How much are those LED strips? The Ledberg LED strip, multicolor. Ledberg. It sounds like an RGB city. <laughs> 20 bucks for, for like three. three of them? Yeah. Ugh. With the controller and yeah. It's still not great. They're really small LEDs too. We should stick the button underneath the desk somewhere. You should see his arm abs, those are cool. Arm abs? What the hell is an arm ab? I don't know. <laughs> you heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. Arm abs. <laughs> here, click the button. And the red does not look good. Okay, so we're on color change mode now. Harsh color change mode. So if I press it again, I think it freezes there. So I'm a little confused. Yes. Wait, I figured it out. The USB goes in the back of the sub, doesn't it? Why would they give, that's like from one of their mice. I know. Did well, you show them that? No, it's it's one of Logitech's oh, it definitely... little, like stabilized micro bees instead of just using a better connector in the first place. They put this like- <laughs> It definitely goes it. in here. I know it does, the thing I just is... told you it goes in there. Why do you not believe me when I say things? Okay, full disclosure, I did set this up beforehand. It was a terrible experience. I would genuinely not recommend this if you're not like very patient. What is this? So, the like IKEA light bulbs. Uh huh. So this hub to get it to work, I had to wait for it to update, which took two hours before it updated. <laughs> um, well, and the then, servers are in Sweden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah, then yeah. this is like the controller yeah. thing. So it's Zigbee, and there's a little button in there and a button cell battery. Yeah. And I guess the battery that it came with was not charged enough, so it wouldn't update. I left it for like four hours, and then I left it overnight, and it still didn't update. So I replaced the battery, updated in like two minutes. Okay. And then it worked fine. Okay. But like. 
as somebody that wouldn't know to try stuff like that and hasn't screwed with lights before, these are not fun. It's wired? Yeah. What the I guess that means it's gonna be more reliable at yeah, least. Yeah, I guess. Like, mount this thing to your friggin' like, wall? I mean, you could, like, I guess. It's so ugly. Well, oh, wait, there's a cover. It just looks like that. Oh, that makes more sense. <laughs> handmade quality. Mm. So Somebody... not handmade, just handmade quality. Cool. Orange, sweet. And then we control it with our little doodad here? Yeah, or my phone. I opened the app here, brightness, max. Okay, there we go, that's more like it. Should we do blue as well, or different colors? So like, the color reproduction on these is pretty bad. This is like, purple. That's purple-ish. This is orange. Mm. It's very red. This is like the more orangey orange is like that. Yeah, that's orange. Like green. That does not look green. like that green at all. It's like yellow. Ah, uh, so this is a $50 <laughs> brown ash floor lamp. Lotters. Well, we're stuck with it now because you bought it. Okay, we gotta do something about these headphones. This is terrible. I really want that R slash battle station uh, clout, so maybe I should just grab wireless ones. Yeah, I think it's worth it. <sighs> okay. We will downgrade our audio experience from the K7XXs to something far less audiophile worthy for the sake of that battle station's clout. I mean, you can't please every subreddit all at once, you know? Uh, I grabbed the Dolby headphones. Wow, those are actually headphones. pretty nice. They're Bluetooth. So ah. like, is it really gaming? No. No. We're having a cheat day. Okay, this is our one cheat. This is our one cheat. This is the one thing that's not like straight up legit actually gaming great about this setup. <laughs> There, that looks pretty, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty clean. Very Ikea. Whoa! Beep, 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 beep. That is some, that is some gaming grade audio we got going on here. Why do you keep doing it? Oh, stop. <laughs> I gotta get the drivers. Get some help. Whoa, hello. What? Oh, they're on now. Oh, they're doing RGB? Yeah, they're like yelling at me in what RGB. Are... So all of our front lights are now purple. Should we just make everything purple? And all of our back lights are blue. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna have to fire up Aura if I wanna do that though. Oh. Wow. Now that is a setup. So at the end of the day, it's not like our setup is crazy cheap or anything, but compared to going out and buying gamery hardware, I don't think it looks any less gamer and it was a pretty good value compared to that. And there's definitely ways you can do it cheaper if you want. Obviously. This is just like our premium IKEA gaming setup. Premium IKEA gaming setup. You heard it here first, folks. Overall, we're definitely calling this project a success. For around $820, we were able to buy all the IKEA stuff you see here. Desk, chair, sort of crap RGB strips, all of that to build what we think is the ultimate IKEA gaming setup. Now, that's not to say you couldn't have done a bit better cost-wise. IKEA's wooden Gherton tabletop can be had for just $100, a $90 savings from the Carlby top that we chose. Depending on which you find more comfortable, the chair was another place that you could save some of that cheddar. Like we said before though, it's all down to personal preference. You gotta go there, try them all out, and chances are that you'll find something you like that might be a little cheaper than what we chose. For instance, the super popular Marcus chair is only $1.99. As for lighting, if you've already grabbed some trad-free bulbs, Chances are that the craptastic excuse for RGB strips are not worth your money. Uh, we'd also probably ax the middle desk leg and one of the Signum trays because the Girton desk is a fair bit smaller. All of that combined then brings us down to a much more reasonable 559, which when you consider that you could easily spend that much or more on just a chair, it sounds like a pretty darn good deal to me. Movement watches, stop and look at your wrist. Does it feel like you're missing something? Well, Movement has got you covered. They've got a huge selection of quality, clean, all around good looking watches for both men and women starting at $95. So you're pretty much guaranteed to find something you'll like. They've sold over 2 million watches online across more than 160 countries. And one particular one, the Checker White Caramel from their Blacktop collection has caught our eye. It's got a 47 millimeter wide face with a white background with changeable straps for an updated look. And they've also got a ton of other accessories in their online store so you can complete your look. They've got eyewear, jewelry, and even cases to store your other movement watches. They offer free shipping and returns worldwide and back their product with a 24-month warranty. So join the movement and get 15% off by going to mvmt.com ltt. So thanks for watching, guys. If you're looking for more stuff to buy online, you can also check out our store where we have Linus Tech Tips stop underwear. Stop it. <laughs> I will not stop. I will never stop.
Okay, I'll stop. Bye.